is Di Davis. Di, uh, good morning to you. Thank you very much for your time today. And uh, today must be a day of memories for you. Well, absolutely. Where has 25 years gone? It is quite amazing. And yes, uh, I had the privilege and pleasure of knowing Princess Diana, and an amazing woman. I don't think in my lifetime I can think of any other woman who has such international fame. And I'm delighted in one sense that uh, we are commemorating her because her good points far outweighed anything derogatory that some people might say. Point. Um, and, you know, look, we're, we're commemorating specifically, you know, the, the sort of shock, really, of, of her passing. It was so sudden, so unexpected. As somebody who used to be responsible for her security, for royal security, what was your reaction when you heard the news? Were you furious with the team that this ever was able to happen? Well, yes, there are many uh, thoughts that go through my head. The first one is that if my officers had been looking after her uh, in Paris, this would never, ever had happened. And I wish I could tell you a great deal more as to my own thoughts and, and my own advice to the royal family before she went to the Firehead family for her holiday, but I can't. Um, it's a tragedy. It is an accident, and, and, and I've lectured and investigated all the events that happened in Paris uh, in parallel with uh, Lord Stevens. And I have to say, it should never have happened if seatbelts had been worn. Well, right, well, I'm pleased, hopefully, now that the nonsense of the conspiracy issues have, I hope, been put to bed. There was a very good Channel 4 documentary. I support everything my colleagues, the police colleagues, both in France and indeed in Britain, said on that documentary. And I hope the conspiracy nonsense can be put to bed once and for all. And we remember Diana for what she achieved, what she stood for, and the way she has changed the royal family for good.